Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Start Studio Gallery in the backyard and I have leftover colors. I mean like I spilled half of them even, <laughs> but I have leftover colors and uh, they've been sitting out here for a while so I'm going to refresh them by adding some other colors that I like to them and then I'm going to do something that I don't usually do and I'm going to ribbon pour them all over, ooh that's not the color I expected. Um, a canvas. I want something a little more dramatic than that. I may add gold to the uh, ribbons once they're on the canvas because I'm afraid if I add it into the colors that they will sink. And as much as I like that, as long as my colors are open today, what's missing? Something's missing. I think maybe some more of that beautiful green gold is missing. So this time if my colors spill I have them in a pan and I'm going to do something similar to what I did the last time as in I'm going to spread some paint. I think if I had glasses it would be even better and I'm not sure I didn't leave them in the house. Oh darn. All right so I'm going to get really close to this and you're going to see my head a little bit <laughs> because otherwise it's going to be uh, catch as catch can. I have a spare pair out here, but I don't see them. Go figures. Funny I should say that, huh? Uh, no, no spare glasses right now. Shoot. Well, that's okay, because I'm really only going to do this ribbon pour. And um, it could be a nice scoop, or it could be all kinds of nice things that would be fun to be very creative with, and this is more or less accidental. Um, but I've wanted to do it for a long time, and I've never given myself absolute permission to do that. Can I see? No, I can't. I just mixed that up. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to just use the clean side. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula. If you are just visiting for the first time, it's on my Amazon link for sale below the video and a bunch of other cool stuff, including my gold mica powder, which I will give the recipe to to anybody who asks. Um, it's, it's got three ingredients in it, like all my paint does. It's got GAC 800 to keep the paint from cracking when it's left thick by Golden. It's a golden product. And it's got Decor Pouring Medium in it because Hobby Lobby sells it for half price a lot of times, or at least on sale for me, or I probably wouldn't buy it because it's pretty expensive. But um, as long as it's on sale, I'm going to keep using it because it causes, it creates nice, nice cells in conjunction with the Floatrol, which is a latex paint conditioner that you can get at any big box. Uh, Home, Home Depot or Lowe's uh, for around $15 a gallon or even, I believe, on my Amazon link if you're desperately far off the beaten track. I have bought many gallons of it. Don't care if there's other colors in the way. Not sure I care about much of anything. That can go in the bucket. And I have to decide if I'm going to shovel. I think I could shovel. Let's shovel. I gotta go get one. They're over here. Oh boy. Ha! I really wanted to just dribble out of there. So I'm gonna scoop that up. I'm gonna scrape off the bottom. And how am I gonna start? I'm gonna be as random as I possibly can be. I think I'm going to be adding some more paint. Because I can. That is the name of my book. Also on the Amazon link. And in theory with a nice thick layer of wet paint on my canvas to flow other paint. When I tip this to agitate the, ring, the, the ribbons things should spread out and we should get some nice cells and I hope that I'm right about that and I'm just going to put some of my favorite colors in here and hope that, ooh, that is a new color that I made yesterday. Not that it's actually coming out. If I tip too fast, the marble I keep in my bottles to uh, mix the paint gets, gets in the way. I, didn't, I did say I was going to put some gold in there and then I didn't, but I will. And I want some orange again. 
And then I'm just going to take a chance. How about some magenta also? Sort of, kind of. Uh, what else? The lighter color orange. So I just basically made that pan of color up right now. We want some more Bahama blue. That's the color I want. And where else? <laughs> This is so random, but it's okay, because I can do whatever I want with random. And I intend on using random, very randomly, and uh, I'm going to scrape off whatever I can get out of my shovel, because I hate wasting beautiful colors, and they are beautiful colors. And paint will flow to paint, so if I want something to flow down over the edge, I just have to put something next to something else. And chances are good I will use my edge catcher. That's pretty cool. I don't actually want to do anything to that at all. <laughs> Go figure. We know that about me. I fall in love with abstract painting very, very easily. Let's see if I've got anything that isn't complete mud in there. It doesn't matter at this point. I said I would put some more gold in there anyway. That's pretty cool. I want to take a picture of that and come back in a minute. Um, I like that. And I could do whatever I want, including add some other colors anywhere. Anywhere at all. Cool. for fun. Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. Which, by the way, has the first hundred YouTube videos in it. Um, documented pictures and all the tools and all the processes I use. And I'm going to call this done and I'm going to put these two things in the bucket. And I think, because I can, even though there's a mess here, I'm probably going to just... Um, by seeing if I can release some cells from the paint that's there. I really dislike it the way it is. If I tip it, it's not going to look that way anymore. I don't want to drop chain in. I don't want to do anything. I say that, and then I pull out my skewer, and you know I want to use it. But skewers... Excuse me, um, gold mica with mica powder does not often, um, it just sinks, basically, that's what I'm trying to say. If, uh, if there's no agitation going on to spread it out. And I like my gold and I don't like wasting paint. And if I let it all sink, then it's kind of a waste, isn't it? But I'm, I'm really afraid to lose all my negative space. And this is just so neat. I mean, I really did decide where to put my lines, so I did... I did compose what I've got. I suppose I can just keep playing a little bit. Wipe off my skewer. Add some paint where I want. And what else next to it? Yes. Okay, I see you. That was probably not my wisest move, but that's okay. I can usually rescue myself. Oh gosh, am I going to tip? I don't know. The anticipation. <laughs> I just don't know. Do I really want to? I'm not sure I do really want to. I'm really, really not sure. I could though. Wow. This is neat. So if I line this up right here, right now, and walk away from it for a second, and grab my edge catcher, then I should be able to take a screenshot of that. So let's just do this thing. Do this insane thing. Um, let's put the edge catcher along the bottom and let's tip at an odd angle. And then 
at another odd angle because I'm always tipping straight with the edges and I don't think I really want to always tip straight with the edges. And I'm going to let that edge catcher rock. I'm actually liking it. So I'm not unhappy that I did that. Phew! That was close. I don't think I have to go very far though to be done either. Let's go that way. Try not to lose all of my white, neg white and black negative space and call that good. I don't have to do anything else to it. I am in love with that. Thank you guys for joining me. Check out my Pinterest, my Instagram, the Facebook albums you can access through, uh, the Facebook albums are the Wet and Dry Artworks from YouTube. And you can access them if you join um, the Facebook group called Expressionist Art Studio Gallery uh, Fans and Collectors. And I don't see much of anything else I really want to do, do I? I kind of want to do this. Don't ask me why, I just do. Um, yeah, I'm not unhappy. Where's my gold? <laughs> you can't trust me to, to, to say it and mean it. I really want that to hang out, which means grab a skewer that's not stuck to another skewer. Yeah, that's right. That'll happen. They're always stuck to each other. I'm not going to get to keep that. I wonder if I can blow that out. Sometimes, if I hit things with the um, with the torch, it will become a catalyst. I don't really want to do a whole lot of much of anything. I'm not talking right. I'm also doing this without my glasses, <laughs> so we'll see if I like it as much once I find them. <laughs> okay then. Can't believe she admitted that. Yeah. No glasses. My bad. Oh, it must be lizard hunting time of day, too. My dog is out here. Yes, I think that is a lot of fun. I like it very much, and I'm going to see if I can't promote some cells in the gold. Make sure we get rid of any bubbles in the paint. Just do what I would do normally is if I had my glasses on. And uh, whatever else I need to tell you is, what is it? It's uh, the merchandise under the video would help me out if you would shop there. Um, it's by Teespring. It doesn't really say that. So I should stop telling you guys that it says Teespring because it doesn't. And, uh, and what else? I have... Uh, <laughs> Oh, I draw a blank. I have uh, Fine Art America and Pixels.com on my Facebook pages where I have been posting stuff since like 2013. I don't have a lot of that color in there. Do I really want to do that? No, I don't. But I do want to do something right there. Yeah, I'm better with that. That draws, yes, that's much better. Okay, so what else? I've got a crib sheet around here I probably can't read somewhere. I do sell my artwork. If you want to get in touch with me um, through YouTube, I will give you an email. We can talk. I give lessons at the house. Ooh, I see some gold coming out up there. I love my skewer. Um, what else? I don't think I need to do anything else to this. Please give me a thumbs up. The algorithm at YouTube only knows thumbs up and uh, how long you watch the videos. So if you love what I do and you want to help me and you can't do it any other way, um, you do help me by giving me a thumbs up and you do help me by watching more of the video. And if you can help me and you want to be a contributor to help support um, my painting habit and your watching habit and everybody else's, um, you can contribute through PayPal or Patreon. And I have links to those, both of those on my YouTube header and also in the body of the description under the paint pouring recipe that's in the body of the description under the video. And if you contribute, you will be included in a, in a monthly contest just once for contributors. I don't know what it's going to be. I haven't made the video to announce it yet this month. But uh, look on the end screens after the video is over. There's always 500 to 600 video. There's five to 600 videos on that playlist. And uh, if you like what I do, that's the place to look for what I do. You can also find my website there. 
I don't pay much attention to it, but there's a really good Instagram feed. You can check out what I've been doing on Instagram. I wish you guys had joined my Instagram feed. I can't seem to get over, I can't seem to get a couple thousand people there, but um, the people who are there are pretty, seem pretty happy. So you might want to join them. I love you guys. I really appreciate all the contributions you've made in the past to keep me painting. And I really appreciate all the comments. You, you keep my morale up and you keep me wanting to do this for you guys and for myself every day. And by watching longer, you make it actually almost viable for me to make a living doing this with your help. And I do appreciate that help. So, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio. Done a little earlier than usual. And yes, I did just spiral something out with my bamboo skewer, but that's kind of like me. That's my MO anyway. Um, I said everything I need to say, except for I hope to see you in the next video and that um, if I didn't tell you I love you, I'm going to tell you I do because I always tell you I love you, and I do. Thank you so much for everything, you guys. See you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the Backyard. Priscilla out.